Johnny, baby. Yeah. It's for my real niggas. Uh, and bad women. Hey, I'm hard liquor. Yeah. What you sipping? Huh. I feel the world is a cup full of vodka and tiny. Mix with the chronic and baby. I'm on it. Yeah, that's right. Smart girl. It, but a head done. Okay. And a heart numb. That's right. Cold blood pump. I'm complicated. It's gonna take you at least two lifetimes to think of me. So in a million years, we incarnated. I be saying you still be as a carnation. Fly with girl one time for the weed smokers and the holy rollers. All my Bible readers and knowledge seekers. You getting money? I applaud it in all that you causes. Don't the reason that you sliding in parties. Crack deals making the nauseous. And Bobby is, of course, one of the many causes of bulls. So I abolish Hey yo, the game is counterfeit. This is full of but I go above it all. My angels and seraphim is going to crib. So what you say in him? Sounds like yo, the game is counterfeit. This is full of shit, but I, I, I go above it all. My angels and seraphim is going to crib. So what you say in him? It sounds like Johnny Baby. But I'm, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm. As adults, they from adolescence, right? Call me a hustler, though. He never noticed. He just focused so he in his money. Cause as it goes, women like mice to chat around. Hey, you never see hey. pros as it come. All the more of a turn on, like, put a look. Find somebody and think you can change it. That'll teach you good. But one time for my smart women, independent mothers, the little brothers who treat their older brothers. Like Superman is average tired. Not the one that he admires. He's not a supplier. But one time for the hustle, though. For my dope, the dope kids, the flow spitters. Griots and poets, my brothers are gone. Get it green instead of the baker soda. One time for that Reagan. Middle fingers to him and abusive cops. Won't love him either. Raise your index and middle finger. Chuck the juice to the, to the Jerry Springs. Exploit me. Same thing with Mario and all them, man. That's right. I just don't. They exploit black people. All I hear talk. people saying, because I know they don't care. They do not care how they go. But I'm, 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 but I'm. Hey, what's up? My name is Makeda. This is original Fuel Media Production on Young New Artists. I'm here with Prophet and Hirsch, and today we're going to talk about these young new musicians. So, how did you two get started as musicians? Uh, well, let's see. I got started about uh, about four years ago. Um, you know, I was looking for beats. Started writing probably I say back in eighth grade. So ninth grade, I started looking for beats. Uh, found a producer by the name of Kid Lucci, uh, Baseboy Productions. And ever since, just been doing music, dropping projects as quick as I can. All right, what about you? I mean, basically, I got started. Really, I mean, I've been rapping as long as I can remember. Like, with my brother, whatever, freestyle, whatever, I mean. But really, I got started recording music like two years ago. When I was younger, I always wanted to record music, you know, like, <laughs> I guess live that TV life or whatever. But. When I got older, when I got, like, around two years ago, I just started recording my own music, started buying my own equipment or whatever, and started recording music. That's how I got started. All right, so who's on your um, playlist, guys? Uh, my, my playlist? Um, I listen to myself all day. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> yeah, real too, up, really. <laughs> um, besides listening to myself, you know, so I can critique my own music and, and get better at my craft and be a master of it, you know, master of ceremonies, MC. Uh, definitely listen to Kanye and Jay Z. Those are huge influences on my style. Uh, a lot of Outkast, UGK. Hey, mm, I listen to Wiz, definitely. Um, Lil Wayne, Kanye, OK, Rick Ross. That's about it. Myself too. <laughs> All right. Well, 
All right, so uh, we've asked um, musicians that have come on the show this all the time. If you could listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would, what would yours be? I don't know. It's a, it's a lot of songs. I mean, I tell you, I tell you one thing. It wouldn't be a hip hop song. It'd probably be something soul, because that's a little easier to listen to. So, what about you? Um, it'd probably have to be my favorite song, uh, "Get Throw," by uh, well, technically by UGK. So, I listen to that forever. All right. Um. So, what's the most difficult part about being a young artist? You know, how you have to struggle to get to success. Um, getting people to listen, you know. So you have to uh, you have to be really creative with your marketing. Um, first of all, the music has to be good too, because the best marketing is word of mouth. People tell about your music, but it's really hard to get people to listen because when you live in an area such as Atlanta, you have new artists coming out every day, and it's kind of hard for people to filter good music and crap. So when it all gets mixed in then you have to find a better way to reach your consumer and a better way to connect with the audience to make them feel your sound and to understand your artistry. Right, so, what's the most difficult part to you? Um, the most difficult part, I would say, for other people to give other people advice is overcoming the fear of letting other people listen to your music. Because I know like, when I first started recording music, I was like, if, I, if somebody wanted to hear it, I'm like, oh, nah, you can't hear it, you can't hear it. Because I wasn't confident enough to know that my music was what it was, but also you not like don't don't try to piggyback off other what other people listen to what other people what other artists. You gotta have your own image and make your own music. And when you make your own music, music that you feel, music that you love, then that confidence and like because that's who you are, that's what you do. That confidence can come. So what inspired you to become musicians? Mm, I mean, I just always liked music. Like since when I was a baby, like always listening to music. I grow up, I'm singing songs, I'm listening to songs. My parents is like, what you know about that? Like songs they haven't heard since they was my age. I'm listening to that. They they can't understand how I know these songs. I just always liked music. Mm -hmm. So what inspired you? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Probably uh, back in eighth grade, I remember um, I was going to summer camp one day. My brother passed me the blueprint by Jay Z, and uh, I, I started listening to a song called "You Don't Know," and I had it on repeat like all day, like back to back to back. So I went back, started analyzing his style, and started analyzing how complex rap music was and what it really could be. And uh, I kind of just got interested because I listened all day, so I figured why not make my own and. Just never look back after that first song. All right. So, um, what's your goal as an artist? What do you really want to do? That that ultimate dream to be an artist. What is it? Mm, really, I just started making music because that's what I like to do. It was just a hobby thing. But I mean, if the fame and if, if all that comes, then it comes. But I'm not gonna say like that's a main goal or anything. I just do it because this is what I like to do. So, what about you? Um, just trying to make a living, you know, make good music. <laughs> and uh, really, if I could just uh, make good music and perform, then, um, you know, have a roof over my head, food to eat, then I'm straight. All right. So, what is your message to young new artists out there that are really good and underrated and um, want to be as successful as you guys? Um, if you really love what you're doing, keep pushing because it's... It's a dog eat dog world out there. You gotta understand uh, with music, it's it's a hardcore business, you know, and that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Make sure you're on your business. Make sure that you got the music taken care of, and once you got that music down, then make sure you you can get it out there and believe in your product because there are gonna be a lot of people that'll doubt your product. But as long as you're centered and you believe in what you're doing, can't well nobody can really tell you nothing at that point. Mm, I would say just do you. Basically, that's it. Don't piggyback off anybody else. I mean, you can look to other people for inspiration or just to see what's out there, but have your own image. Make your music. That's it, basically. You know, just do what you know. That's it, basically.
All right, this has been Original Fuel Media Production. I'm Keda, and I'm here with Prophet and Hirsch. If you want any information on these superbly talented artists, you can contact them. Oh, yeah, um, follow me on Twitter.com, at the kid Prophet, D A K I D Prophet. Go follow me on Twitter at BTL underscore Hirsch, H-E-R-S-H. All right. So, I'm Kata. This has been an original Fuel Meter production, and I'm out. Stay positive.